I'm surprised we don't eat more pork in Australia. It's a delicious protein. It's affordable and fabulous quality free range pork just like this is available in your local supermarket. My dish today is one of the most popular dishes in Japan. It's a pork katsu. So let's start on the accompaniment to this pork. It's a cabbage salad. So we'll shave up some lovely fresh cabbage. Now we'll just put together a really simple sesame dressing. Some Japanese mayonnaise. Really rich flavour in this mayonnaise. An unhulled tahini, so it's that kind of tawny brown colour. A little bit of rice wine vinegar. Some soy sauce. You can use tamari and some water. Give all of that a whisk together just to combine the ingredients. That comes together nicely. Pop a little bit over the salad, over the cabbage, and we'll toss that through. That's ready to roll. Now let's get onto the pork. I love using Plantagenet Free Range Pork. It's a family run business. The pigs run around in the pristine agricultural environment of the Great Southern region. And you know, the taste and texture is truly second to none. This pork fillet is low in fat and there's the tiniest amount of silver skin or sinew on. It's very easy to take off. Just drop the knife underneath it, push it forwards and off it comes. Now for the katsu, we'll just cut the pork up into little discs, about a centimetre thick. And the best way to treat these is to just bat them with the side of your knife just to flatten slightly and drop into the flour. Now katsu is breaded meat. They use Japanese breadcrumbs, that's the key. So they're super crispy. And my little twist on this is I'm going to add some shichimi togarashi, which is a Japanese seasoning. It has orange, a little bit of chili and sesame seeds through it. And I'll add that to the breadcrumbs. Toss that through nicely. I'll get that pork floured first, dust off the flour, through the egg, and into the breadcrumbs. I like the way the farmers are going about their business here. They care about the sustainability of the land and also for the animals. It's free range, and because it's free range, it has superior taste and texture. As I'm popping these into the crumbs, we'll give them a little press just to make them a, a touch flatter before we fry them. So some of the shichimi binds with the crumbs, so we'll get that extra seasoning in these breadcrumbs. Okay, so the pork is crumbed, the salad's made, let's hit the fryer. Keep an eye on the temperature of your oil when you're cooking this. You don't want it too hot, not above 180 degrees, so the pork will cook gently and we'll get a lovely crisp crust on those Japanese breadcrumbs. I've chosen to cook the pork in the wok. You can shallow fry these if you like. Those Japanese breadcrumbs become super crisp and it will only take about two and a half to three minutes. Don't be scared of cooking pork pink. By the time you get it to the table, those juices will have recombined into the flesh. It won't be pink and it will be so juicy. So these are looking cooked. Golden brown, super crispy. And so now let's get it on the plate. A little bit of seasoning, a little bit of salt on the pork. Grab some of that salad into the bowl. A sprinkling of sesame seeds. Pork fillet in the bowl. And there you have it, my Plantagenet free range pork fillet catsuit.